Images are made from three primary colours, red, green and blue. So let's say you take three black and white images, one with a red filter, one with a green filter and one with a blue filter, you could merge those colour channels together and create a colour image. This process is known as trichromatic photography. Before I begin, I want to credit Attic Darkroom for this idea. I've binged his whole channel and I absolutely love the content he makes and I wouldn't know what trichrome photography was if it wasn't for him. I'll leave a link down below in the description to his channel. To start trichromatic photography, you need three lens filters. Red lens filters are very common as they are commonly used in black and white photography to exaggerate shadows, but green and blue ones are a bit rarer. Luckily for me though, my Yashica 24 came with a custom fit red and green lens filter for the camera, meaning I only need to find a blue one. So I brought a 52mm blue one. Yeah, it's quite big compared to the others. So, with the freelance filters ready, I went out shooting. I must also say it's essential to use a tripod while shooting as the images have to be the same to merge them correctly together. What's also important to note is I'm shooting square format or medium format film, which means in total I'll only get 12 images throughout the whole shoot, and also bearing in mind it takes three images to create the one colour image. That means I can only actually get four total images that are trichromatic. So to start off with, I went to the same place I went in my last video where I took this image. I set up my tripod with my TLR and got ready to shoot. Because I'm using lens filters, I had to meter through them on my phone before setting them up on the camera and taking the image. For my next shot, I went to a nearby park that I hadn't been to and it's actually beautiful there. I found a small flowing bit of water with some rocks and I thought this would be lovely for my next image. Once I had finished that image, I went to the central pond of the park where there were loads of swans and ducks around. I was setting up my shot, taking photos, and then disaster struck. Oh no! I didn't take the frame with the green filter. Oh. I accidentally took a frame without the green filter on, meaning I'd messed up the natural flow of three images per shoot. I decided to carry on with this frame anyway and just sacrifice the last shoot, meaning I was only actually going to get a total of three trichromatic images from this. So, after developing and scanning, I was left with my black and white images. The images aren't vastly different. Here's the red filter, green filter and the blue filter one of the same scene and you can only really tell in the shadows where much difference is. So I took the images to Photoshop where I used blending options to turn off colour channels which merged the images together creating my colour images. I really like how these turned out. Purposely focused on my final image to have moving features in the image like the water and the ducks. This was to highlight the trichromatic aberrations you can see in the image where you can clearly see a red duck which isn't true to life. These images aren't great. I definitely need to improve not shaking my camera when I take the images as you can kind of see in the edges where it gets kind of blurry and distorted. But honestly as a first experiment I love these. It's honestly beautiful. The aim of trichromatic photography to me isn't to create a true to life colour image, you can just shoot colour film for that, but to instead experiment with different colour channels and how colour works on black and white film. And I think the overall product that you receive in the end is honestly beautiful. It's just a really fun process to create a colour image out of black and white photos. I absolutely love this shoot and I'm definitely going to do it again. I'm probably going to try doing it on 35mm next time as well, which means I need to buy more green lens filters. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of my others on my channel. I've been doing a lot of photography experiments recently. Thanks for watching guys and Matt out!